Hey everybody, it's Monday, so it's time for the Monday Motivation video. I changed my filming location because I'm finally moving into my new office, which is great. I need space and um, I'm getting there. I was just hanging some stuff last night on the walls here, things that uh, matter to me. There's my map of the monuments of Paris. There's Paris is always a good idea. I got all kind of fun stuff. And actually, if you look this way, you can't see it here. Down there at the very end, is the framing of the Hello My Name Is stickers that my son put on his wall. So if you read the book, you know what that is. Uh, big part of the book, big part of my inspiration. Anyway, guys, so um, I want to talk to you today about our past holding us back from our destiny. You know, it's really, really hard for us to experience destiny and pursue our purpose if we're always looking behind us. But the reality is, is that we are a compilation of all of our experiences. The way that we look at the world, the filter that we have, the mindsets that we have are really all based on things that we've been through, things we've experienced, how, we, how we've reacted, how we've made choices with things that have happened to us. And that's a compilation of how we see the world. So in fact, in a lot of ways, we are just a product of our past, but it does come to sort of haunt us and hold us back when we let that stop us from stepping into what we're supposed to do. And this is a resistance that we have, right? It's, I don't wanna do that new thing because last time I tried something new, I failed. I'm concerned about trusting this person because last time I did, you know, they let me down. I'm worried about stepping out because last time I did, I felt shame. Whatever it is, we tend to see things through our past, through the filter of our past. And really, we don't often wanna push through that because our ego, sort of our internal ego, if you will, wants to keep us safe. And the way we stay, stay safe is not take any risks. But then how do we experience destiny? How do we pursue purpose? If we're not willing to say goodbye to the past and set up in our, in our mind new constructs, to change our mindset, to get rid of limiting beliefs that were developed from experiences that we had that no longer define us. This is all our choice, it's nobody else's. So really, as we move into pursuing purpose, which by the way, maybe it's the new year, the time of the year, I don't know what, but every time I hear a sermon, I'm reading a book, I, I see inspirational stuff, it's been so much about destiny and purpose. And I just think beyond the fact that it's a new year's, I just think we're in a season of that where it's quickening, that we need to be pursuing our purpose. But in order to do that, a lot of the cleanup has to do with definitely getting rid of limiting beliefs but also shedding our past. Even the good and the bad, just basically saying, you know what, I'm going to look at my world around me with a new filter, with eyes wide open. I'm not gonna see everything through the filter of my past. Easier said than done, but that's work that we can do together this year to get you, get you over the past, if you will, to get you looking forward, to get you to a place where you're willing to accept that anything is possible rather than see everything through the filter of what's happened to you. So remember, if you're looking in your rearview mirror, you're not gonna see where you're going. You've got to get over the past and be willing to do the work where you redefine the way you see things in your life and you no longer apply that filter of what did I go through before. And I know it's self-protection, but it's work that we have to do in order to be vulnerable enough to succeed and change the world around us. We've got to change the way we see things. When we feel uncomfortable, that's a sign that there's something that needs to change, that a filter that needs to change, a mindset that needs to change. We've got to get out of our comfort zone. Otherwise, we will amble around this world never finding our purpose. And I know you guys don't want that. You wouldn't be here if you wanted that. I know all of you want to know why you were created. So first things first, Let's start to deal with the past. Let's get it out of our future. It doesn't belong there. I understand that that's how we see things because that's what we've been through. But you and I both know we can change the way we look at things. So that is something I want you to think about throughout the week. Guys, don't forget to listen to the podcast on Tuesday. I'm gonna deal with a tough issue that's been happening a lot too much lately around us. And that is mental illness tied to suicide. I wanna just give my little slice of it, just the way I see it from the standpoint of the things that I do in my life. And I, I hope it will bless you. That's Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern is when it's released. 
And I'm really excited to tell you that this week I am going to the location of the first Mindset Reset in 2020. And it looks like that date is Saturday, March 28th. We are gonna finalize it this week and of course start to put everything together. But for those of you who are either in Northern New Jersey, nearby or wanna come, wanna have an absolutely life-changing experience, mark it down now and pay attention to the details, but it's Saturday, March 28th, okay? Listen guys, have a great week. We'll see you online and stop looking backwards. We've gotta look forwards in order to find our purpose and experience our destiny. Have a great week.